was amazing. I think even the opening ceremony, the way we started off, and I think to get this started, and um, Sean's uh, dream has come true, the Fairbanks dream has come true, and I think uh, it was lovely to be out there as a team and uh, um, just get the tournament started. Yeah, and so um, Isha, for you, you know, it's in your home country. What's it mean to you to be part of this tournament and to be involved so heavily in the first game? I think it's a dream come true to play with the legends of the game. It's only it, it was only like it was only a dream before today, but it was the first time we walked out on the field with all of them on playing on the same field. So yeah, it's something I never thought would happen so soon. And what was it like for you? you to take your first wicket out there. <laughs> it was good. I don't, I don't know words, amount of words, but yeah. And getting a wicket of Susie Bates is <laughs> something I would have never thought in my life to know. And that's something no one can ever take away from you now. So that was just an incredible moment, obviously, for you. So you couldn't quite get there today with the win, the Warriors. What do you think you need to work on and change, perhaps, going into the next game, Sindhu? I think definitely the feeling. If we had uh, taken all our catches, could have been even more an interesting game. But it's all part of the game. So uh, the next time we come back, and some of us were just playing under the lights for the first time as well. So I think that does, uh, you know, gives us a little bit of exposure and experience. So when we come back the next time, we we'll come back a little more stronger. Yeah, and that's the thing. It turns into quite a learning experience. That's what we're all learning as we go along in this tournament. But yeah, Susie Bates sort of became the cat with nine lives at one point in there. But she eventually went to your good self over here so you can take that one. Everyone's just letting you have that wicket, perhaps. So looking ahead, what's the plan for the next few days um, as we look to your second game? Well, we have to go back to our drawing board. And some of us, we've just seen each other on the nets, in, in the nets. And now today we've uh, assessed each other on the field. So definitely we're going to go back to the drawing board and look at our combinations and try and get the right combinations for the next games. Yeah, and so what do you think, are you, will you be looking at the team sheets and perhaps looking at the other teams and thinking where you might mix and match things up that way or is it all just focus on personal games and what you guys can do out on the field and then you'll think about the team sheet when it comes to the day? Definitely there's going to be some matchups, right? So we, now that we know the, some, of the, some of them we already know from the other teams, so there's, there's going to be some matchups. Um, do some analysis on their uh, battings or, and then try and have matchups. Yeah, and so Isha, just could you just sum it up in one sentence what it's been like? So it's not the perfect start, but it is a dream come true. Like just sharing the field with everyone is a dream come true, but I would have hoped that we would have won the first game. But we'll leave it for the second game. The second will be ours, hopefully. Well, thank you so much. Uh, unlucky tonight, but it was just amazing to see you guys out there doing what you do best. And we look forward to your ne next game. And you can go home and have a sleep now. <laughs> thank you. So we're joined by winning captain Susie Bates, player of the match, Chimura Atipatu, and Marizan Cap from the Falcons. So Susie's come to you first. What's it like to get that first win on the board, the first ever Fairbreak Invitational game? Yeah, we're just really pleased. Um, you know, it was a bit of a long day waiting till eight o'clock and everyone's coming at different stages and, you know, we didn't have some of our um, full member players, but the way the girls stepped up and to get that win when I thought they put on a really good score but to chase it down like that and um, I thought T's catch really turned the game for us um, when she caught out Hayley Matthews and the way she batted there with Chamari it was just nice to see her get an opportunity at this level. Yeah and Chamari congratulations the first ever century in the Fair Rate Invitational so that's one no one can ever take away from you. What was it like being out there? You just you seem to be having a lot of fun. Yeah, I really enjoyed that my game every time when I was batting. So today I really enjoyed my game. Uh, Susie was also there, so she even some advisors for me in the middle. So I enjoy, enjoyed today again. Yeah, and there were some big sixes out there. You just swinging big there. I just play. <laughs> I I just play. I, I I don't try to overhit. Just trying to win. That's it. Yeah, and Susie, yeah, the cat with nine lives who dropped a few times there. Um, it was a bit of a heart in the mouth moment at times, or were you just like, uh, oh, it's all part of the game, just carry on playing the way you play? Yeah, it's just all part of it, and you, you miss time the ball, and sometimes you're out and sometimes you're not. So just the way the game goes, and some things go your way, and today a lot of things went our way, which helped us get across the line. So yeah, it's a really exciting start to the tournament. Yeah, and it's exciting also for the Falcons, because obviously we've got... Marazan over here and you weren't part of the team today but that's just 
Another little string to the falcon boat, a feather to the wing, we one might say, to bring in next time. So you're looking forward to getting going with things, Marzan? Yes, definitely. Um, to watch the girls out there tonight, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I'm not going to lie, I don't know what to expect. Um, I've never played um, or, or even seen the associate teams play and I was really so surprised. This is so good for women's cricket. Yeah, and what was it like for you to be part of that opening ceremony at, Mini, at the beginning? It was, it was quite a moment for everyone, I think, sort of walking out into that heat in front of all those people watching online, the people that have come to watch. And for you, Susie, you've been around the game for so long. Is that something that you're really going to take away? I think it's just so different to anything else you've ever experienced. Yeah, it really is. And I had a moment there where I was, imagine if we sung all 35 countries national anthems, um, it would have been a long <laughs> ceremony, sure, but yeah. that's how many um, countries were there. And, so that's pretty cool to have 90 players from all over the world at a women's cricket event. Um, yeah, it is pretty special and something that I'll look back on and, and remember is, you know, that you're the first players to be part of that moment and the singing was also great. It was hard to stand still and not dance along. You can dance if you want. I know. We, wouldn't, we wouldn't judge you. <laughs> there you go. And so, Tamira, um, how, what are you going to do? How are you going to take that performance into the next game? You're just going to keep playing the way you play because it seems to be working. Actually, I got a good start today, but I, I want to continue the form, but to, tomorrow is a new day, a new game, so I just focus on tomorrow game. This inning is going to history, so I, I, I don't want to stay with the, that inning, just focus on next game. Yeah, so. amazing. Well, we won't keep you too long because it's well past my bedtime. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Congrats on the big win, and we look forward to seeing you on the team sheet, Sue Marazan, and just keep doing what you're doing. It was a really good game from you, and it's looking great for the rest of the tournament.